Hey, hey everyone, welcome to Step Up. We as a business create custom vinyl stair nosing uh, for any job. We have four different profiles that we're gonna be showing you today. So our first one is for an open staircase. So as you can see here, the vinyl has been modified to be able to cover both the front and side. At the moment for the installation, the back is open, but it will be capped. And then we also have our custom risers here. So when you cut a piece of vinyl, it will look like this, but we have actually uh, been able to wrap the far end so that it has that beautiful finish with the color of the vinyl all the way around the end. For our open uh, stair nosings, these are all completely custom jobs. So we need to come out to the property and take the measurements. Each stair might be slightly different. So for these nosings, we do the installation um, as well as making the nosings completely custom to the job. The other types that we have, we do sell um, and we have lots of installation videos um, that could help you or a contractor out and doing that installation yourself if you prefer. But with this one, we do the installation. And you can see there we use a PL Premium and we're going to be putting into it into place. This is why that back um, cap is not on at the moment. And you can see the black tape there that's just holding it while we do the installation and will come off. Again, with the risers, these are all custom made for open staircases, just understanding that that edge is open. And so it does have that vinyl wrapped around it. So it has that uh, same beautiful finish as we go along. If you hit the subscribe button and check out our channel, we do have lots of videos of us doing full installations of the open stair noses um, so that you can really see how that looks all put together. Um, but this is just a sample here that we're making with one nosing for each of the different types that we carry here at Step Up. All right, uh, you can see here that is why we have the vinyl wrap so that that riser uh, has that beautiful finish. The next one we're gonna be looking at is a loose lay vinyl, um, lay flat vinyl sometimes referred to or floppy. It's a very bendable vinyl product. It generally does not click together and therefore it needs to be reinforced. So we do make these and sell them or we can come and install them ourselves. You can see there, there's no click there and a reinforcement has been added to it. When you go to do this installation, we're still using the PL, you need to make sure that you're getting some of it on that nosing front there on the wood as well as on the vinyl itself. Um, again, we have individual installation videos step by step with lots of tips and tricks uh, when you go to do that installation yourself. So you can check that out on the channel. All right, so we're gonna get this on here. Uh, the key with this one is to make sure that that front of the nosing that has the adhesive on it has made contact with the wood um, so that that adhesive is holding it into place, right? You can see that reinforcement that's there and we want that to be connected. Um, and so some people will need to cut that bottom piece if it's too long to make sure that it's fully on. Because there is no click on this nosing, you can wait and do this back piece afterwards. The key here is not only to get it tight to the piece that was just put on, but also to make sure that the height is the exact same because they are not clicking together. Uh, you don't want to end up with any ridging uh, or variation in that, right? Um, you also don't want to put the adhesive too close to the edges or else it's going to squish out um, when you go to put it in place. So you can see here, we're doing a nice line down the middle and we're going to get this uh, put into place and nice and tight. Depending on the type of graining with the loose lay, we do find it tends to make a fairly seamless uh, finish where you can almost not see where the two boards um, came together. And let's get a close up here. All right. Um, but that only happens if you get that installation right. So you want to be make sure that it is tight together, but also that up and down um, is the same height. Um, so there's no ridge going on. When you are installing these ones, um, we use a, a tape product. There you can see them getting that nice and level there. We use a tape product to hold it in place while that PL sets. Uh, it, it can take... Uh, eight to 20 hours to get fully set. And so we like to just add that tape there, just pulling it nice and tight together. 
Um, and that's going to just stay in place to hold that, especially if you have um, people that need to be moving up and down the stairs while it's drying. You you want to avoid that as much as possible, but um, we understand that and sometimes that happens. And so this will be some really good um, security on that while it sets. For the risers for this and um, the other nosings, they can be made um, by yourself just out of the exact same vinyl. So we only make in shop the ones for the open stairs. Um, if you are purchasing the other nosings from us they do not come with risers you can simply cut them out of the flat vinyl pieces that you have obviously if you've hired us to do the installation we will do that creation as well uh, but again you're just adding that adhesive and uh, putting that into place and then really just making sure that that bottom where they connect is nice and tight um, and if for whatever reason it's not you can always just uh, use a wedge there to be able to push it down and make sure that it's in the right place that is needed all right, our next profile that we are looking at, and we refer to as our square profile. This is our most common purchase. This is made out of any vinyl that has a rigid core, SPC, WPC, LVP, um, lots of different coatings for it. But if it has a rigid core, then this is what it, uh, we're going to be able to make for you. All right, um, the inside diameter is slightly more than an inch and a half is our standard. It can be customized as needed. That goes over most two by tens. And you can see here for the installation, that back back piece has already been cut and is going to be clicked into place before we add the adhesive. Unlike with the loose lay, we are not going to be adding it afterwards simply because of that clicking system. Uh, we need to make sure that it's clicked in place and that's quite difficult when you're trying to deal with that tight space at the back there. So we've clicked it into place and we're going to be sliding it on. Again, we have videos specifically about how to do that clicking when, you know, you're dealing with a particularly long st uh, stair or just the little tips from doing it all the time that make it a little bit easier for you. But again, you're just clicking it into place, adding the glue and sliding it into place. Uh, and then you're going to be adding a riser. So again, these are just made out of the exact same vinyl. You rip them lengthwise, cut them widthwise till they're the right size, and then add the uh, PL glue to be putting them into place. The reason we go from the bottom to the top is to make sure that we have the most beautiful finish. So the back of that nosing is where that cut line is, and that's now being covered by a factory straight line finish on the bottom of this riser. And then the top of the riser has the cut part. That's covered by the nosing above it and we do have a video that explains that in detail this is our l shape or often referred to as waterfall nosing all right um so the l the part that comes down is slightly longer than the nose that is in place some customers prefer this look um it really is customer preference again these ones can be made and purchased and installed yourself or we can come do it for you once again this is made out of the exact same uh types of vinyls that we could make the square out of it's just the choice on the shape itself so anything with a rigid core is going to work for this um, again for this one you want to make sure that you get that adhesive both on that front profile to make contact as well as across and again we've clicked the boards together in advance before adding the adhesive and we're going to be sliding it on as one solid piece here all right and then there you go. You can see when it's in place um, what that is going to look like. So those are our four uh, profiles that we do sell here at Step Up. Um, things are constantly changing and innovating. Um, so we'll keep updating you as things change. But these are definitely the most popular um, and the ones that we're dealing with right now. So there's that L shape and that waterfall profile that we do have. Finally, uh, when you are done your installation, you can add caulking along the walls. You never want to add it between the vinyls themselves, um, but you can use um, any caulking. If the side, the walls are white, you can use a white. If it's colored, you can use a color uh, to just really give it that beautiful finish. And again, we have videos on tips and tricks for doing that. So we would love it if you could check us out. Our website is stepupvinyl.ca or you can reach out on our channel. You can see here that back cap for the open stair has been added into place for that absolute beautiful finish which is why we have to do those installations of those um, but if you do have stairs that would have a wall on this side as well walls on both sides then you can choose to use that loose lay that square nosing or this l shape uh, to finish the jobs and possibly install them yourself so here are the options please hit that subscribe button check out our other videos and reach out on the website if you'd like us to help out with your next installation